What's up? It is your boy Hill Balor. How are y'all doing today? With predictions for NXT TakeOver New Orleans, aka my birthday. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, April 7th was the day I was born. Apparently, I was born on Sunday, so congratulations to me. Let's still give myself a round of applause. Heck yeah. Um, but yeah, TakeOver New Orleans. Um, I'm very excited. Should be a good show. Um, before I get into predictions, if you did not check out my recent video, I did a um, SmackDown Live live reaction to most of the show. Um, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tag Teaming against Chuck Benjamin, Chad Gable. And I did a little one with Daniel Bryan and uh, Shane McMahon and Shane McMahon's return. Also, I did not do a library to take um, to um, NXT last night. I didn't have time, of course. I was out, and yeah, I missed NXT, so freaking screw me. But I watched this one. It's actually a good show. The ending was very good. Ricochet came out. I love Ricochet. Don't, do we all love Ricochet? I love Ricochet. Yeah, Ricochet's awesome. Anyways, um, predictions time. Um, I'm not going to go over too much of this match card because you already know it. You already know my real predictions if you watch the um, podcast, Christian Miracles podcast, the Loser's Line podcast, as, as it's now called, LLP, with myself, Heel Balor, Christian Miracle, at Flair Section, and Rice to Ryan, and at B. San Rollins. Of course, we are the Loser's Lounge. There you go. Um, we went over everything. We went over Access. We went over TakeOver. We went over um, Hall of Fame. We went over WrestleMania. It was a two-hour-long podcast. I was only like three hours, but that was a lot more fun. But um, yeah, you can go check out my predictions. All of that, literally, like I'm gonna be discussing everything. I discussed everything on that. I'm gonna discuss on here with Takeover, and I'm gonna discuss it here with WrestleMania tomorrow. And yeah, but I'm gonna get into it. I'm not gonna take too much of your time on this video. I gotta get going in a few minutes. I gotta I'm gonna be doing something outside and playing around. But yeah, I'm gonna get into this video right now. So let's go over Takeover New Orleans, man. Um, this show's gonna be headlined by Aleister Black and Andrade Cianlamas for the NXT Championship, but we're gonna skip that. We're gonna save that best for last. We're gonna save the best for last. John Gargano's Master Chopper, we're saving that for the best for last. Uh, let's just go over the NXT Championship. Let's start off with that. I know it's weird to start off with the NXT Championship, but whatever. My freaking YouTube channel. Let's start off. NXT Championship, Andrade Cianlamas versus Aleister Black. Um, I might go over storylines. I really don't need to. You all know how this led up to. Um, it all ended with Andrade beating the living crap out of... Out of Andrade Cien Lamas being the living crap out of Aleister Black. We all know how that ended. Uh, Andrade stood tall, which means he's losing. Come on, man. Andrade better not hold that title past TakeOver New Orleans. Come on, man. You've been a decent champion so far since you've held it from TakeOver uh, War Games. You've been to defeat Drew McIntyre. You've been a decent champion. But I, I, I just don't see it. I just don't see anything on Andrade Cien Lamas. Great talent. Great talent. He's... You got Zelina Vega. You know, Zelina Vega's hot. So, there you go. And it makes up for that. You know, Andrade is... He's, he's a very good, very good wrestler, seriously. Did you see his match with Gargano at TakeOver in Philadelphia? Bro, that was a match of the freaking night. Heck, to me, it was a match of the freaking week. Heck, to me, the match was... Uh, the match was, to me at least, uh, the match of the freaking month. You know, probably give you match of the year, but you know, it's not a five star, it's like a New Japan match. But anyways, I'm um, getting off track here. Um, yeah, Andrade laid out um, Alistair this past week on... Um, actually, last week on um, NXT. And uh, yeah, we didn't see them too, these two... This past week, he just showed a replay. It was pretty just replays. This past week, NXT and the unveiling of the new championship on uh, the NXT North American title, which I'll talk about later. Um, who do I think is winning this match? Aleister Black. Come on. All right, come on. He hasn't been defeated in singles competition. Oh, but will he lost the fatal four-way. That didn't really count, in my opinion. He didn't get pinned in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Gargano pinned him in that match. You know, Andrade, and, um, you know, we had um, Killian Dane and Lars Sullivan outside doing their little jig. And, you know, he had Undisputed, you know, running into costume interference. Thanks a lot, Undisputed. Um, but yeah, um, I'm picking Andrade, I mean, Aleister Black to win this match. It's his time. Andrade's held it long enough. Time for new blood. No man is ever truly good. Andrade Cianamas is dropping the NXT Championship this Saturday. And we're going to get a new champion in Aleister Black. Yes, it's weird starting out with the, champ the main championship. But in my opinion, the main event of this show is Gargano and Ciampa. That's just me. We'll get to that last, the very last. Um, yeah, I'm picking Aleister Black to become the new NXT champion. There you go. Ember Moon and Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship. Um, it, it, this has really been a decent rivalry, I guess. I mean, we all know how this came about. Blah, blah, blah. Their match at TakeOver Philadelphia was interesting. I mean, they uh, Shayna almost broke Ember's arm, as we all saw. Like, she had her arm in a freaking arm bar for like three minutes, it felt. And uh, she came out, of course, came through, fought through the pain, you know, emerged as champion. And I just don't see anything in Shayna Baszler. She's legit. She's legit. She's dangerous, man. Yeah, because she's probably four horsewomen in the UFC, a former in the UFC. I mean, but you know, Ronda Rousey and Santa Pedro. Anyways, um, yeah, um, Ember Moon's been a pretty good champion. I really have enjoyed her reign. Uh, she's held it since Takeover War Games, of course, when Oscar vacated it and ran up to the main roster, where she'll be challenging Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's Championship this Sunday at WrestleMania 34. But uh, yeah, uh, this has been a decent storyline, man. Uh, you, you know, for whatever reason, Lacey Evans keeps getting involved, and whatever keeps, you know. 
been slapping to me. She's she's okay, but no. Anyways, um, yeah, man. Um, who do I think's winning? Shayna Baszler. It's it's pretty. It's time for him to move up. In my opinion, it's not time for her to move up. No way, WWE, they're gonna probably move her up. And you know, I don't like how Vince treats talent like Ember Moon. You know what I mean? But I think she'll be doing. I think she'll be doing around the main roster, man. I think she'll be fine. Um, and I think it's Shanna's time, probably. I mean, you'll have Kyrie Sane to move up. Kyrie Sane could probably be the one to take down Shanna Baszler, probably take over, or, I don't know, Brooklyn 4. I guess, I don't know. God forbid, if that's a long championship reign, in my opinion. But, um, I'm going to pick uh, Shanna Baszler to win by submission somehow. She's going to make Ember tap, um, and she'll become the new women's champion. There you go. Undisputed, uh, my boys, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, a.k.a. Future Shock. From Ring of Honor, that's how I know them by Future Shock's reuniting. I'm freaking marking out inside Future Shock is Bat Baby. Against <clears throat> Authors of Pain and freaking Roderick Strong and Pete Dunn. Yay. An oddball team against the Sour team. I like I like Authors of Pain, but they're no, no thanks. And of course my boys, Undisputed Era. You know, shot the system and you know, you know, all that. Shot the system, baby. Um th this should be a good match for the Oh yeah, for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic finale. And for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Okay, um, of course we all know Bobby Fish is injured with a knee injury, which will possibly keep him out for freaking seven months from what I heard. Seven months. It sucks. I hate talking about it. I don't want to start breaking down here on YouTube because I love Bobby Fish, but thank God it's not Kyle O'Reilly. You all know how a big fan of his. How, you, all, you all know how big of a fan I am of his. You know, my boy Kyle O'Reilly, the ambassador of kick ass today. You know what I mean? Not Kyle O'Reilly. Hell yeah. Um, anyways, um... Then you got Roderick Strong and Pete Dunn. They came together. Um, Roderick chose Pete Dunn as mystery partner. And it, they've been pretty good, actually. I'm a pretty big fan of uh, Pete Dunn and Roderick Strong. You know, Pete Dunn's a freaking awesome. You know, Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong's my boy. And, uh, yeah, got authors of pain in there for whatever reason. This is probably going to be their swan song, their send-off, because they ain't winning. They ain't winning Jack. Um, so it's going to come down to either... Um, I'm throwing authors of pain out here. They ain't winning. Um, who did I choose? I chose Undisputed to retain. Somehow, someway, Undisputed is probably going to pull out a victory. I could see, for whatever reason, I just don't see Pete Dunne and Roddy Strong winning, but if they do, I'll be happy because I like them both. I like both teams, and I like Authors of Pain, too. You know, so whoever wins, I'll be happy, but I'll be very upset if Undisputed loses here. You know, because they deserve a little bit more, a longer title reign, in my opinion. Have them drop it to take over Chicago for all I care. You know, that's just me. I'm a huge fan of Undisputed, as you all know. But, um, yeah, I see Undisputed picking up the win. You know, of course, Adam Cole has a match later in the night in a ladder match, you know, for that title, the new title they have. But, yeah, I'm picking Undisputed to win. Somehow, some way, maybe Bobby F excuse me, Bobby Fish. Kyle O'Reilly will somehow sneak in there and cause a distraction whenever Adam Cole is going to deliver the last shot, probably. You know, Pete Dunne and Roddy Strong will probably have their differences. You know, that will cause them to lose, probably. I don't see, I don't see Authors of Pain winning here. They're not winning. This is their swan song. They're being to the main roster after WrestleMania. There you go. Undisputed out of the win, Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. Bye bye. Uh, let's see what else do, do we have here. NXT. I love you, NXT. All right, Adam Cole. Bye bye. EC3. Trouble, 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 trouble. I am the top one percent. Bye bye. Lars Sullivan. Freaking monster. Ricochet, the king of flight, and Velveteen Dream. My boy, my boy Patrick Clark. I'm so happy for him. Seriously, that dude's like one year older than me. So you have freaking Tyler Bate, who was the inaugural WWE UK champion, who's like younger than me. Then you have like Velveteen Dream, who's one year older than me. That's legit. That's that is so weird. That is so weird to think about. Holy crap. And they both have championships, whereas I only held something like this. That's funny to think about now. Um, you know, the North American Championship, as we all know, you saw my video of me talking about how it was unveiled by Triple H. It's a pretty cool belt, seriously. That belt is legit. Go check it out. Um, yeah, man, uh... I think, anyway, I'm throwing Killian Dane out. I think Killian Dane's winning. Okay, so my picks, I'm throwing Lars Sullivan out because he's not going to win either. Okay, so it comes with, like, okay, let me see. One, two, three, four. About four people who is probably going to win this match. Okay, four people probably going to win this match. I'm going to come down to two. I said a predictions video. I want either EC3, no, I said Adam Cole, and I said Velveteen Dream are my picks. Okay, so I said my dark horse was EC3, and I'm going with the Velveteen Dream. I'm going with the Velveteen Dream to win this. You know, I think, in my opinion, he, out of all, as I said on the podcast, out of all people, nobody's picking him. If you are, tell me down in the comments below if you're picking Velveteen Dream. I just think it's his time to shine. I think he'll look very good with that championship. Heck, anyone in this match will look good with that championship. That belt is beautiful, man. 
and people are choosing over the UK Championship. Yeah, the UK Championship is beautiful too. But that's Tyler, in my opinion, you know, it's something else. It's Tyler's old school. I love old school belts. You know, I'm tired of seeing the network logo everywhere. Anyways, I'm in that topic. Sorry about that. Um... But yeah, man, I could see Adam Cole winning it, but I don't think he's doing it. I, don't, I think Adam Cole is carrying the tag titles with Kyle O'Reilly. EC3, he just got here. I don't think EC3 is winning. They'll probably throw EC3 in, already into the freaking NXT title match once Aleister Black wins, for all we know. Um, Ricochet, nah, he just got here, of course. Maybe EC3 got here, too, you know. Uh, EC3 is not going to win either. Don't panic. EC3 ain't winning. Ricochet, I could see him going off and doing something else. Maybe he'll feud with the person who wins the championship, you know. Um, you know, uh... I'm going Velveteen Dream on this one. I love Velveteen Dream. I love Patrick Clark. He should have won freaking tough enough a few years ago, but no! Nope! You had to give it that lackey, whatever that dude's name was, and that chick who didn't work out, none of them worked out. You know, but yeah, whatever, screw tough enough, screw that crap. Anyways, I'm picking Velveteen Dream to become the inaugural WWE NXT North American Champion, but my dark horse is Adam Cole, bye bye. But whoever wins, I'll be very happy with, as long as it's not freaking Killian Dane. I like Killian Dane, but I just don't see championship material, material in it. Not yet. Not yet, guys. I don't hit Killian Dane. He's Irish. I love the Irish people. Too sweet. You know, but I, I just think it is time. Uh, it's certainly not Ricochet's time. He just got here, in my opinion. Lars Sullivan, that dude's having some championship material, in my opinion. That dude's legit. And uh, Adam Cole, bye bye, of course. You know, we all know about Adam Cole. You know, I'm picking Velveteen Dream or Adam Cole, bye bye, to win this match. Because of the inaugural WWE North American Champion. And last but not least, we got Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, my boy, against the Sicilian psychopath Tommaso Ciampa in a unsanctioned match. If Gargano wins, he will be reinstated to NXT. If Ciampa wins, Gargano will be banned from NXT forever. We all know the storyline, man. It all started at TakeOver Chicago last year in May. The heel turn from Gar the Gargano. The heel turn from Tommaso Ciampa. He went down with an ACL injury. Was out for the rest of the year. Came back at TakeOver Philadelphia with a crutch and a longer beard, looking like a homeless man. And then he freaking cost Gargano again with his job. And Gargano put his job on the line for the NXT Championship against Andrade Cien on us in the main event a few weeks ago on NXT. You know, Gar Gargano, I mean, not Gargano, freaking um, Tommaso Ciampa came down from the, from the crowd with a crutch, bashed Gargano over the freaking head, or back, thank God it wasn't the head. Uh, over the freaking back, knocked him out. One, two, three, Gargano was out from NXT, of course. And then a few weeks, a few weeks later, Yo had Tommaso ch cut that very d weird, cool promo. Gargano, not Gargano. Ciampa cut, um, see, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Gargano, guys. Good Lord. Ciampa cut that promo on um, Gargano, saying, he's gone! He's gone! You know, all that kind of stuff. You know, he ripped up signs, emoji signs, which was pretty funny. And he ripped up one side, but guess who was behind it? Gargano. That's right, Gargano was behind the sign with the mask on. Punched, um, chomp in the face. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a violent match. So I guess it's gonna be a violent match. Yeah, man. In my opinion, it's gonna steal the weekend. In my opinion, if anything, but if, besides WrestleMania, of course, WrestleMania is gonna be WrestleMania, of course, it's WrestleMania. But you know, um, this match is gonna be brutal, man. Unsanctioned. It's gonna be a violent match. And this is NXT. NXT doesn't isn't afraid of taking risk. Unlike the main roster with Vince, who gets cold feet. You know, Vince will probably get cold feet with Nakamura's WWE champion for all we know. You know, like, you know, whatever. You know, I see Gargano. I, I pick Champa. I pitch Champa in the podcast. I'm picking Champa here. They're gonna move Gargano up to the main roster, and I think it's Gargano's time to go. I'm sorry, Gargano has done all he can, but he didn't win the NXT Championship. You don't really need the NXT Championship to make yourself, you know, main roster worthy. You know what I mean? And. You know, it would have been great to see Gargano as NXT champion. Heck, I was rooting for him at TakeOver Philadelphia, man. You, I was on my feet. And then, you know, Ciampa, after the match, bashed him over the freaking head with the crutch and all that kind of stuff. And then Andrade retained, blah, blah, blah. That was a brutal match. Legit, that was a brutal match. Um, yeah, man, I am picking Gargano to win. Excuse me, not Gargano. Ciampa. I just, I don't see Gargano winning this match. If Gargano does win, I'll be freaking happy. Of course, Gargano mark right here. Um, but I, I see Andrade, no, Andrade, good one. See, I'm not out here, folks. I didn't have a good sleep last night. Actually, I did, but I'm freaking tired. I just got off the train with my brother, so I'm freaking all not there right now. So, bear with me. But, um, yeah, man, I'm going to pick Ciampa to win this match. It's going to be a violent match. They're going to beat each other until the end. The end. The end. They're going to beat each other until the end. Until none of them can, one of them can't stand anymore. This is unsanctioned, you know? 
I've seen some brutal unsanctioned matches, man. They've been they're violent, very violent matches, you know. But yeah, man, and especially with Gargano and um, yeah, you know, Ciampa did at the um, Cruiserweight Classic, man. They were friends. Now they're bitter enemies. Imagine what they're gonna do to each other now. Imagine kendo sticks flying, got steel chairs flying, got freaking just skin flying, massacre flying everywhere, bro. I'm gonna pick Tommaso Ciampa to beat Johnny Gargano and force him out of NXT forever. Especially it pains me to say that Gargano could go on the main roster and become probably either you know, or United States champion or heck, WWE champion. I, mean, I could see Gargano WWE champion. I'm serious. I'm serious, man. I imagine Gargano is WWE champion. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, yeah, man, that's your takeover New Orleans predictions. Um, that's all I gotta say right now. It really wasn't that long of a video, because, you know, it's not really that long of a pay-per-view. Takeovers usually last for like last for like an hour. So two hours, actually. Two hours. WrestleMania's gonna be seven hours. God help us all. You know, but yeah, man, um, that's your video. That's Takeover New Orleans. I'm turning 22 on that day, so I hope to see lots of good messages and lots of love for me on that day, man. I can't wait. I'm going to be Skyping with friends, of course. And, of course, the next night is WrestleMania 34, where I'll be live streaming most of the pay-per-view matches. Like, of course, you got the Conor Championship match. You got the WWE title match. You got possibly going to take her John Cena. You got the main event. You know, I'll be, I'll be live streaming most of those matches, but I won't be on here for too long on WrestleMania because I don't actually want to watch the show. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, of course, they're probably going to reveal the stage tomorrow for WrestleMania 34. They're still getting it ready. Um, yeah, I'm hearing that they're going to get it ready for tomorrow or possibly Saturday. If it's Saturday, I'll probably have to wait until I get to the hotel to do that video. But I'm really hoping it's tomorrow. I really hope they have it up by tomorrow. Because literally, the next day is New World Takeover. Because, yeah, because there's no way you can have it done by WrestleMania Day. I mean, unless they have to, you know what I mean, man? But um, that's your video, guys. Let's take over New Orleans predictions. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please hit that like button down below to sweep that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Follow this guy on Twitter at HeelBaller and Instagram HeelBaller21. And I will see you all tomorrow for the Hall of Fame. Yes, the Hall of Fame. Imagine going to watch the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah I'm weird. I'll see you all tomorrow for that, guys. Too sweet and peace.